Hey YouTube, Sherry VSG here, coming to you with my week 8 uh, post-op vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery, which I had done in Tijuana, Mexico with Dr. Mar Mariano Carubias. Carubias. Um, my highest weight was 236.2 and that was at the beginning of my two-week pre-op diet. On the day of surgery, I I weighed, what did I weigh? Oh, geez. A 224. Oh, Lord. It's definitely nighttime. Um, I can't remember what I came in with, with last week. Um, but as of this week, I am officially 198. I finally broke out of the 200s. I'm in Wonderland. <laughs> Um, I'm actually only 11 pounds away from my first goal of 187, which is what I weighed when I graduated high school. Um, it's crazy to think that, you know, it's like I've, I've been in the 200s pretty much almost 11 years now. And in two months, I shattered that. It's crazy. Um, so not much is going on other than, you know... The weight loss. I have been trying new foods. Um, I tried tilapia this weekend. That went really well. Um, very yummy. Mm. Um, so I'll see maybe if I can get it like while I'm out at restaurants and stuff like that. Because um, the one I got was uh, from Target. Um, sorry. Um, you know, it was like a... Uh, garlic herb glaze it was really good though um I really want to try shrimp though um but we'll see uh, most shrimp comes breaded in something you can obviously get it by itself but I am not very fond of the way it looks like that um I also tried uh probably a bad idea but the Jack Link's beef teriyaki strips um i guess like, kind of eating them as snacks they they do have quite a bit of protein in it and i'm not eating a ton of it it's just um well you know when i'm done with my meals for the day and um kind of just need something to t you know settle my stomach before i go to bed because if i don't eat something i guess like like i wake up like really really hungry in the morning and i don't want to start off the day bad I guess I don't know um still not getting in enough water um that's a daily struggle um I really 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 need to get one of those bottles that tells you like what time you should be like drinking what <laughs> um let me think uh I'm getting pretty bad with coffee um, not to the point I was when, you know, pre-op, but most days I have a cup of coffee. Um, when I'm at work, I'll have like a, um, like a tall Americano, um, sometimes with soy, sometimes with not, with no soy, um, but there's always Splenda in it, um, because I don't like Starbucks regular coffee, never have, never will, um, but I do love their espresso, so, um. Uh, and I have it here too, so I can make it at home whenever I feel like it. Just, you know. Um, so yeah, so basically I'm getting more coffee in than water, I guess. Because there are some days where I will... Lucky if I drink one sixteen ounce of water. Bad, I know. Um, what else have I tried? Ooh, uh, the... See, you'll play Whips... Um, I can't remember how much protein is in it. I know it's, it's, I think it's like nine grams of po protein. It's only like a hundred calories. Um, those make good, like, you know, in between snacks. Um, and I get the, um, there's a chocolate cherry and a strawberry cheesecake one. And I have one more that I haven't tried and I can't remember what it is. Um, 
but those are going down really well because it's weird because before surgery whips had a weird texture to me but now regular yogurt just doesn't sit well so um i think i'll stick with the whips for now um plus you know plus all the fruit and everything they put in you know the the regular yogurts it's um it's a bit too much uh oh my god it's going numb Um, so I still don't, haven't noticed any hair loss, though I did get the wet brush. Sorry, you didn't see that. This one, this one I got at Lord and Ladies, which is a hair salon. Um, and this specific color says it is, it's the wet brush pro limelight. Um... Lord and ladies called it metallic green. I guess it is. Um, seeing as green is my favorite color, you know. But I haven't used it yet. So, but it says you can use it on. Do the English here. Uh, it says works great on wet and dry hair. Perfect for men, women, and kids. For all hair types. Um, soft, flexible bristles. Detangle hair with ease and great for hair extensions and wigs and I do have hair extensions although they no longer match because my hair is no longer red I don't wipe my hair um I don't exactly foresee me dyeing them just yet just in case I decide to go back to the red um because God only knows that would be disastrous trying to get, go from brown back to red with that. With my hair, it's it's easy, you know, like that grows. But with extensions, they don't regrow. <laughs> um, because I hate washing them. They take forever, and I don't like to blow dry them or anything like that. So I let them air dry, and oh, it just takes forever. Um, so next week, since it'll officially be my two month surgery anniversary I guess um I think I'll do my measurements I might even do a skin flick maybe I don't know um you know a lot of people keep telling me they're noticing you know the weight dropping off um I notice it more in my waist than anything um and maybe like my collarbones I can't really see them, but I can feel them sticking out farther than usual. Um, so, <sighs> gotta look forward to that. Um, so yeah, uh, until next week, I'll talk to you then. Bye.